What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome back to the journey where I'm building different squads as we progress through divisional play, get involved in some tournaments, and as always, I'm dropping feedback on which players have to be in your starting 11. They're going to have all of the above, the total package, and then other guys that kind of drop the ball, and you can pass on them. But before we get into the FIFA goodness, if you need any ultimate team coins, cheap, instant, reliable, justfifacoins.com, use Dirty for 5% off, and hold up if you guys need help trading. You need a website that's going to give you the tax. They're going to give you all the prices up to date instantly. FUT focus. I'm also going to leave links down below. I like using it quite a bit, so I want to go ahead and spread the love. Today, my friends, we're back on that discount shopping tip. Overpowered. And we're in the Russian League, and I might as well call it the Russian Sweat as we get into match number one. And if you guys enjoy the content, smash that thumbs up button. Show your boy some support. And if you guys could also drop a comment, what are your favorite or the best striker partnerships? Because I've got, ooh, Dumbia, Rondon, as well as Musa in my front three. That triangle is deadly. If you don't want to just do a striking partnership, do your front three. If you're playing a 4-1-2-1-2, a 3-5-2, that's crucial for your attack. Crucial for your counter. Crucial for scoring goals. As Dumbia does put us up 1-0. And this guy is just a force to be reckoned with. Uh, it doesn't really matter how much you pay for players. He's got to be in most people's top 10 in terms of strikers in FIFA 15. Point blank, period. And he might even be in some people's top five. He's incredible, and look at him dancing. He's got the skill moves. He's got the athleticism. He's got a lovely, lovely first touch. Anything you need. He can blast off from nothing. And with the way that the dribbling kind of explodes, this game is just made for players like Dumbia. I also feel like he sits on the back line extremely well, and you can't teach positioning. I guess you can work on it in instructions this year, but you can't really teach it. Some players just have a knack for always getting behind the defense or really sitting back and waiting as they should as a CDM. And look at that penalty kick. That was a very soft penalty to concede. And this is one of those back and forth matches. And this taught me a lot about my man Igor Annette. I did not like him very much, and I've never had problems with him in the past FIFAs. But Akinfeev was less than stellar, less than impressive. We've also got Crescito and Bocchetti, the Italians. Green bar, love that. Uh, they were okay. They both felt as if they were non-rares, and I did make some mistakes with them here and there. When you make a mistake in FIFA, almost all the time you're punished, as you see me concede there. At least for my personal experience, if I make any sort of error in the midfield or the defense in FIFA 15, it's almost a guarantee that it seems like I'm giving up some sort of opportunity in front of the net. And that's not a good look, and that's just how FIFA works. Uh, my opponents always capitalize. It just feels that way. So you've got to play smart. And then you have things like this, where it's just terrible luck. Made a couple tackles, bounced back to the attacking player, takes a deflection. Igor is wrong-footed, and it's a consolation goal, thankfully. 5-4. So we win match number one, got that under my belt, thankfully. And then we've got uh, Hubachen, who is a supreme silver, still a really good silver for a, um, a center back. He's got good pace. Last year, I want to say he was a left back, and the year before that, he was also a, uh, a center back. And, and he's good, and we almost conceded in game number two. Then, then we had Fernandez. So I've got all non-rares and a silver on my back line, and the Russian League does not have... Good variation. Oh, if Rondon could have finished that. It does not have a lot of variety. It does not have uh, a lot of interchangeable players on the defensive side of things that I love. And Rondon puts it just wide of the post. Come on, man. We're all over him in the first half. It's nil to nil. I've got Javi Garcia as my CDM. And if you're playing in the Russian League, let me know who is your favorite CDM. Just a quick side note, because I've messed around with a couple, and none of them I've, I'm in love with. I don't. I wouldn't say that there's somebody that I think has got to be your go-to that you just desire. I've used Witzel as a CDM as well, but he gets forward, and he's good at going forward. As Rondon, once again, can't finish. Can't finish. He's getting a unlucky break here. But we do draw a penalty kick with Dumbia, and he's going to step up to the spot himself. And if Dumbia is touching something, it's usually gold, back of the net, 2-0, and that's pretty much what we're going to need. Uh, he does get kind of a YOLO cross. I couldn't switch on to him and, and Benzema from six, seven yards out. Ah, that's that's easy. That That's no razzle-dazzle needed, just straightforward. It's direct. He's going to score goals. But I like to use Witzel kind of as a center mid or even a center attacking mid. I think you can get more out of him this year. But if you want to use him as CDM, that works as well. But let me know who are your favorite CDMs. And you can see me in instructions before game number three. I'm actually telling Javi Garcia, please stop going forward. I don't need you in the attack. 
because I need him to intercept more passes on the defensive end. Uh, we have Fernandez, who is a uh, very nice. He's definitely one of those non-rares that if you have an experience, you're making a Port Portuguese side, you've got a Russian League team, he should probably make it into the starting 11. Speaking of Fernandez, he's wiggling, he's working, and we're drawing a penalty kick, right? But we're going to let Dumbia step to the spot, and unfortunately... I take a decent penalty kick. The save is just better. And then Musa, Dumbia, and Rondon. And Rondon has an inform card that is one of the best in the game, in my opinion, if you like the way that Rondon plays. And it's cheap. Last time I checked, I want to say it was 14,000, 15,000 coins. If you are not in tune with black cards, you don't have any, that might be your first pickup. Rondon plays no games. He's a big body. Look at this. Speaking of Rondon, these guys are just showing up right when I start talking about them. Look at the skill combo. And he is strong. He's got good pace. He's got decent dribbling. He can shoot with both feet. I love it. I love it. Rondon is a great partnership for Musa and Dumbia, where Musa has no physical. He is not going to push anyone around. However, he is one of the fastest players in the game. So if you can get him in front of everybody, good things are going to happen. He's got good dribbling. And most of you guys are aware, dribbling is very important in FIFA 15 because the touches and the way that you can kind of shoot off with the speed dribbles Speed dribbling matters. You have to have it if you really want to be the complete attacking player or really a good cam. As we get a follow-up there with Dumbia, who else? He's always in the right place at the right time. We're going to go ahead and finish this up. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna end the game 5-1. And overall, I thought this squad was pretty good. Uh, it's going to have some suspect moments with the defense. And I might have just had a bad experience with Igor, as a lot of people are aware. Keepers are very personal preference driven. We're getting over three goals a game nearly, nearly under that one per match. If I didn't concede four in the first game, we would have been on point. 55% possession. Pack is fast accuracy is almost at 80%. I really like to be 80 and plus, and it's, it's going okay. I could deal with it. I gave the squad an 8 out of 10. Very, very cheap, as I was saying. And Doombie had seven goals and assists. Marquee player. One of the best strikers in this year's installment. He's fast. He's got precise dribbling. He's a class finisher. And he's just an ideal player for striker positioning. I never felt like I had to get him into the right places. He's got my back. Pros, the pace triangle for counters. The skill move sessions that you saw, left, right, and center. Good weak foot. You can score with their left. You can score with their right. And I didn't like the defense very much. I thought it was kind of wild. And Igor was, eh. That's all I can say. But if you can get comfortable with the defense, the attack will never let you down. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook at DirtyMikeUSA. And I have a lot more content come for you ASAP, ASAP.